Have you ever had to excuse yourself from a date or a party or maybe been on a plane and wanted to die rather than spend the next seven hours squished in a tiny chair feeling like someone is stabbing your belly that is expanding like a balloon that's about to pop? <laughs> Um, if you have experienced this, then you know what it's like to have really horrible digestive issues. And um, I used to myself. I'm Alicia, and this is Mobility Mastery Monday. And today we're going to talk about the gut, gut issues, and how to release the fascia in your abdomen. If what I just described sounds like you, and you have digestive or gut issues, I have one question for you. Are you listening to your gut? Uh, me personally, I think for about 20 years of my life, I was constantly ignoring my gut and it was screaming at me in various areas of my life. And this is a whole long story, pretty much my life story, we could be here all day, but it definitely had a part to play in the gut issues that I had and when I addressed it, they pretty much were eliminated by about 90%. If you are someone like me who maybe stores trauma or stress or anxiety or processes anxiety or stress in your gut, then the knots and the issues that you have here are actually a symptom of what's really going on rather than being the problem itself. So the self-help technique I'm about to give you is going to be able to help you um, bring more spaciousness to the gut and the abdomen, bring some blood flow back in there, and hopefully help um, with some of the anxiety that's getting stuck there. But it's not going to necessarily address the root cause, which is going to be very individual um, for you. But I at least needed to mention that because, as most of you know, I don't like to manage pain or only look at the symptoms of whatever's happening. I like to find the root cause or create a different story that hopefully means not experiencing the same level of pain in this area. Obviously, the gut is a very complicated topic, and today's post is meant to address just a couple pieces of this really big puzzle, so um, I'm not a medical professional, I'm not claiming to be a digestive health expert, um, I just want to give you a little bit of my experience and maybe a technique that can help release some of the tension you have here. Releasing the fascia in the abdomen can help, um, you know, release the knots there, bring blood to the area, to the vital organs. Uh, we have a ton of fascia in the gut. We probably have more there actually than maybe in the rest of our body um, combined. You know, I don't know that for sure, but I would imagine we do. Just it wraps every cell, every nerve ending, um, every fiber of muscle tissue. It wraps our organs in big pieces of fascia. Uh, so it's really important that the fascia there be spacious and allow blood to flow and have our organs have the space that they need to function properly. If you're able to, um, in your area, highly recommend seeking out a professional massage therapist who does Mayan abdominal massage. I had one a couple months ago here in Boulder, Colorado, and it was amazing. And I left feeling lighter in my abdomen than I've felt maybe my whole life or since I was a little girl anyway. Um, so I highly recommend that you do that. The self-help technique I'm about to give you will not really compare. Um, you'll have to do a lot more of this work on your own to get the same result that you would if someone is working on you. However, it is a decent possibility for you to work on yourself if you can't find anyone in your area or you just wanna work on yourself. Okay, so you're gonna be on the floor for this, lying down, and you're gonna use your hands. And I just wanna make it clear that this is not meant to be an abdominal massage. Uh, we're trying to release the fascia. Um, now at any point, if you actually want to give yourself a little bit of an abdominal massage through this or afterwards, by all means, go for it. Um, but that's gonna be different than trying to release the fascia. To release the fascia, we have to kind of pin a piece of it and then use movement to stretch it out or release it. So we're gonna be doing that with our breathing. So belly breathing will be really important through this technique. Everyone's going to be a little different, so you'll have to search out where the tight spots or the knots are in you. For me personally, they tend to be in my um, maybe small intestine area or lower abdomen, kind of maybe in a circle around my belly button actually. But for some of you, it might actually be under your ribs. Um, that's not where I have the tightness, but you'll want to check that for you. Um, but the basic technique here is to use both hands, um, one will be the primary tool that you're using and the other is just to kind of um, guide it or help keep the, uh, the weight there. So maybe just feel around first. Um, I like to use these three fingers to feel. And like right there, I can tell there's a knot or some tightness. 
<clears throat> um, so that's where I would go on me. You want to make sure not to be on your belly button. Do not push in at the site of your belly button. That's kind of an endangerment site. There's a lot of nerves there. Um, so, but it's okay to go around it. So find the spot you want and then put a little bit of pressure or um, compression on that spot. And then you take a breath in to your belly, let it out and then kind of push in with your hand or your fingers. Now I'm gonna be constantly moving really slightly, um, but I'm not gonna keep the same spot the whole time. So I'm just kind of moving in little circular motions. And then using my breathing to expand and contract. That's kind of hard to do it and talk at the same time, but essentially you really wanna let your belly expand fully and then let it collapse all the way as your fingers kind of really sink in and then move around. Um, ideally, if you're really getting a good spot to release, you're actually going to feel it break up. Uh, you might hear some gurgling in your belly. Um, if stuff starts to move, that's actually totally normal. Um, and then you might want to spend, I don't know, 20 seconds on one spot and then move to a new spot. Uh, so, you know, I might start here and then end up a little lower. I might move all the way around. Um, or if I feel it moving up, sometimes you'll have to chase the knots, um, and that's totally okay. Uh, but I would say there's probably going to be maybe up to 10 spots in any abdomen. There could be more. Um, I don't know that you can really overdo this one necessarily, but you don't want to be like digging into your belly. Um, this is going to be a little bit intense, but it should actually be kind of gentle. So it's a gentle intensity, if that makes sense. Um, <clears throat> again, if you need to go under your ribs, you would kind of Sink in there a little bit, then take your breath in. And then really sink into the ribs and then pull that fascia or tissue away from the ribs and down. You're trying to unstick it from the ribs. Um, but again, I don't have that problem, but you may wanna check it on yourself. Uh, if you find that your tightest knots or areas of tension are actually a little lower in the abdomen, to get at them better, I'm gonna have you actually prop your um, feet up on the ground, bend your knees up. Um, that just kind of gives your pelvis a tilt that allows you to really sink into that area. Um, but then it's the same thing. So breath in and out and moving really slowly and gently. Give this a try and see how it feels. Again, seek out a, a professional Mayan abdominal massage therapist if you can in your area, but I'd love to know how this works for you. So please leave a comment or if you have questions, feel free to contact me um, or comment on YouTube, on Facebook or mobilitymastery.com. For the full blog post accompanying this video, click the link below and I will see you next time on Mobility Mastery Monday.